early years of the Israeli war between the north and the south. Personally, I was recruited as a child soldier by the Israeli, and I participated during the war. security system in South Sudan. the government of South Sudan carrying initiative aimed at modernizing the security system and the role that the donors community play in assisting those efforts. Uh, in particular, it urged that military and police reform are focused overwhelmingly on the training and people the forces as opposed to the ensuring the security service focus on protecting the civilian from violence and promoting the rule of law. Um, the key focus on security sectors, it is the army, the police, the border guard, custom, regulation, intelligence, service, security, management, and oversight bodies, ministries of defense and internal affairs, financial management bodies, and public compliance commission, justice and law enforcement institution, judiciary, freedom, security forces, private security companies, guerrilla arms. So there is a composition of what is called security sector from which at the moment the major problem in South Sudan. Well, um, I will first focus on the on the diversion. Right from the CPA, uh, when 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 the the P, the comprehensive peace agreement was signed between the Sudan government and the SPLA, there were separate layers of arms, there was SPLA, and there was other arm group. There was also JIU, Joint Integrated Unit. And then we have a number of arms which were at the end of civilian. Some people mentioned it earlier that over 3 million, I mean 3 million arms. But it is actually, the correct statistic is five over 5 million arms are in circulation in southern Sudan at the moment. With the military, and with uh, the civilian. So, um, uh, if you look into the context of those, the, uh, the formation of the security, composition of security, was not really tackled at the root. So, uh, the US government was focusing on, at the top level, how to train them, and then that training also that was not going down to the, to the, to the states. And again, another problem was the nature of police and the nature of the army. They were from war. They were just emerging from war. Everybody was holding the gun. And now after this, the gunners have been silent, transitioning from the politic of war into the politic of state building and the politic of national reconstruction become difficult. You know. So those were the key diversions. And now forming this the, 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 the correct police that is supposed to uphold the rule of law was a major problem because you have just divided your guerrilla movement. Some of them you call them national army, and some of them you call them police. You know. So
So these are the guerrilla fighters who do not know about the cases of law, how to advocate, I mean, how to serve as a, as a, as a official, as official, official police. I mean, somebody who is uh, uh, having a vast knowledge on the law of the country. You know, the same to national intelligence services. You know, they don't have, they were, they were not really built on the concept of having the state. They were kept in order to hide the guerrilla war. That was the major problem holding the transformation of the SPLA and the security sector in South Sudan. Secondly, priority was not that the government would like to have a clean army during the transition period or to have a clean security sector. They were rushing to form the government of South Sudan knowing that uh, there was no, they, they didn't have plan A during the transition period. It was at the last few years when the CBA was about to finish or to be concluded, they said, okay, what are we going to do with the police? We down some military to become policemen. You know? And then look at the, the level of, 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 of their competency. They are not trained about the rule of law. And then the government itself was not having a political will to develop those structures to compete with other nations around them. The issue was, what if the Sudan government refused to acknowledge or to implement the CPA to the last minute? What are we going to do? The police was going to be the army, the same police. The civilian who were possessing weapons were supposed to be the same army of the SPLA. The SPLA was supposed to keep the same fighting. So, when you talk about um, 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 uh, the circulation of arms and how to keep the security of the country, there was a pretext, there was a paradox within the process and the implementation of the CPA. And that's why it was very difficult for structures to exist in a competent manner. Although the UK and the US, the United Nations mission in South Sudan, overwhelmingly support the process of seeing the state in a good place, that report was only lying at the top level with the interest of key players in the but it was not really going down to the way that you would see a good state with a good police from the heart of the government. So that was a major uh, issue that has uh, kept the state um, I'm talk about this. So um, let's say that Transforming the guerrilla movement into security, into modern security, you have to have a system that corresponds with a democratic norm. For instance, if you want to have a state, the South Sudan, as it, uh, people say, is a new nation. Well, it has been there since 2005, and it has been there for the last 21 years. Some of part of some major part of it has been controlled by the same SPLA that is governing the country now. If they were having a vision of having a state, those kind of thinking should have already taken place, even during the war time. They should have formed those structures and began thinking along those lines. You know. So we have a political problem. It's not about training them. It's not about giving them uh, space. It's not about um, um, uh, lack of service or maybe provision or maybe and everything. But we have a system that must be corrected. For example, let's talk about corruption, which is the system at the moment. Fine, good, thank you. The corruption has taken a deep root to the extent that it has reached to the armed transfer.